Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I want to talk about robo-taxis today. Will they become money-printing machines, as Elon Musk says? Will it be as cheap as 30 cents or even less to ride one mile in them? And will they be everywhere so there will be like 15 or 20 million in, in the US uh, alone by 2030 or 2035? So let me just say right away, I'm super excited about the development we are seeing within autonomous cars and robo-taxis. I think the impact will be super positive. But let's try and unpack whether this is actually realistic. I'll actually focus more on whether this is going to happen uh, in 2035. I think it's pretty unrealistic that uh, all of these predictions will, will happen already in 2030. What I'm going to investigate in this video are three things. So one is, will there be 15 million or more robo-taxis from Tesla in the world by 2035? Secondly, will they cost less than 30 cents to drive per mile? And thirdly, will they become a money printing machine, as Elon Musk call it, uh, that will simply outperform the, the stock market? We'll look at all these uh, three predictions, but before that, we'll just look at the historic price of driving with either a taxi and an, uh, and an Uber, and also look at how costly is it actually to drive in your own car, and then compare it to how cheap it will actually be to ride the robo-taxis. But most importantly, how can you profit from this? What should you avoid doing so you don't lose a lot of money on cars? And what should you do to take advantage of this opportunity? So let's first look at the historic data um, when we're looking at driving in taxis and, and Ubers. And this is in, in um, inflation-adjusted dollars. So what we've seen is that the, the price for, for driving a taxi has been increasing during the 50s and 60s and and. 70s but then we are actually starting to see a, a decline and then the decline of the price accelerates uh, with the introduction of for example uber and and lyft so these are uh, american prices so we are already seeing prices trending down but not that significantly so uh, we are down at about three dollars per mile and what uh, Elon is suggesting is that it will be one-tenth of the price to ride uh, with a uh, robo-taxi. So it sounds pretty unrealistic that uh, we could get that low. But let's try and break it down. Of course, if you look at what is the cost of driving your own car, so this could like uh, be a Toyota car Camry or something like that, that would be similar in, in size and comfort to, to a robo-taxi. And probably your average cost of traveling by car is pretty close to about one dollar per mile, uh, mainly because uh, your your transportation will be a mix of driving your own car and using Ubers and taxis. So it will be different for everyone, but let's just say that uh, a realistic average uh, for for uh, moving one mile with a car is about uh, one dollar. If we start to see robo-taxis, how will that then impact your life? Will, will it really be an impact you can feel? And, uh, well, it definitely will. First of all, your own driving costs will increase significantly to around one-third or one-fourth of, of what you're experiencing now. But also, like, deliveries, uh, your food deliveries, your Amazon deliveries, um, will also be, be impacted. So we will see that prices will deflate across the board. So, so that is definitely good news for, for consumers. Let's look a little bit at Elon Musk's vision here. Uh, so basically a robo-taxi is um, a taxi uh, on demand, but it is autonomous, so there's no driver. And, and that is, I uh, think, the main reason that the price will be so low. The other reason is that it can operate 24-7. Um, so in that way, it, it will be super efficient. So what you can imagine is some people at the moment, they have two or three cars. Uh, they will maybe have one car less. And, and the people that have one car, maybe they'll not have cars at, at all. So the cost structure currently for a family is that if they have two cars, they probably spend around fifteen to $20,000 on the two cars. 
and but they could spend as less as three to five thousand dollars driving robo taxis in the 2030s. So it is a very significant cost saving. So let's just try and break the price down uh, of why it would become uh, so cheap uh, with the robo taxis. So there's the de uh, depreciation, and of course uh, a robo taxi uh, is likely to cost around forty thousand dollars. And it's probably um, worth very little after three, four, five years, simply because it would drive so much. We're talking about within five years, it would have driven like 500,000 miles. Um, so it would probably lose around $8,000 a year in depreciation. Um, well, insurance, that's a pretty big question. We, you know, numbers so far indicate that uh, autonomous cars will be safer and have less accidents. So insurance could actually be quite low. Electricity costs, of course, will, will be there. Uh, and there would be maintenance as well. But as we know, they are pretty low uh, for, for Teslas in, in general. And then the, the final price that we don't know at this point would be the platform price. So simply what is the cost for Tesla to actually run the software for the robo taxis? So, so it becomes uh, similar to a driverless Uber. But the thing is, is it magic uh, to get the price this far down? Uh, do we need something really special? And the interesting answer is actually we don't. I mean, if we look at the same math for a Honda Civic that would drive more than 100,000 miles uh, a year, we would actually see that, that the price would be roughly the same. Um, a calculation um, would come uh, out at around $110,000 would be the cost for, for driving 500,000 miles during five years. So basically, that is also around um, 20 cents per mile. So uh, the main thing is here that the efficiency is up because the, dri uh, the car drives so many miles and the other thing is you don't have to pay for uh, a driver. So it's not magic. Um, I think when we look at these numbers, it is pretty realistic that we could get down to 30 cents or below. Um, so I think uh, for, for that prediction, we, we can say, you know, there's a good chance if we get enough robo taxis and, and, and by that uh, necessary scale, this is definitely possible to, to get uh, the price down to 30 cents per, per mile. But then is the question, so there's a major cost saving here, but who is going to profit? So basically, you can say the consumer can, can profit, and it seems like we can get the price down to even 20 cents uh, per mile. Uh, so if, if that is the price that is offered to the consumer, well, then the consumer will take the full value of this invention. If it is priced at 30 cents per hour, uh, the value can then be split between Tesla um, taking a, a higher operating cost, so a higher percentage fee uh, for the driving, like for example, uh, you see with Uber. And the final part of the pro profit would be the owners of the robo taxes. So you yourself can actually buy a robo tax. A taxi as an investment. And this is where Elon Musk is saying it, it is a money printing machine. So I think competition will arise here. So I think the consumer is likely to take most of, of the profit here, at least after a few years. Um, but that said, uh, the price ending at around 30 cents. So there's some profit both for Tesla and for the, the owners of the robo taxes. It is definitely uh, likely. What else will happen? There will definitely be ripple effects. For example, um, ICE cars, so internal combustion engine cars, they will decline a lot in price. If this happens, um, the, the need for cars would be around half after a few years. And so this will mean that a lot of used cars will get on the market and um, new car sales will drop to an all-time low that will almost be sold no new cars at all so especially cars that that would fulfill the same needs as the robo taxis they would drop a lot so it could be that trucks for example that uh, fills another need where you need more space uh, or lifestyle cars where you simply uh, drive them to enjoy them might not uh, decrease that much in value but i'm seeing cars like uh, a toyota camry or a corolla 
a BMW 5 Series, for example, I think they will decrease a lot in price. We're talking about they would decrease maybe 80% uh, after three years in, instead of around 40-50%. So, so definitely uh, uh, regular cars will go from being a bad investment to being a super bad investment. So other effects are uh, less miles will actually be driven because um, we can optimize. So think about, for example, you, you need to drive your kids to school, you drive back home, and you drive to school again to pick them up and back home. So robots actually would do this much more efficient. They would um, uh, simply calculate the, the, the smallest distance from, from a robo-taxi to your home and then to the school, and then they'll take a ride from there. So there'll be a lot less waste. Um, so I estimate that instead of Americans driving 3.2 trillion miles a year, that that will decrease to around 2.7 miles a year. And, and regarding the second part of the prediction, if it happens that the price gets this low, I think um, it, will, um, it is also a likely prediction that we'll see 15 million or more robo-taxis in the U.S. alone by 2035. So definitely a realistic, unless there are bloggers. And we'll get back to the bloggers that can destroy this. And at that point, with so many robo-taxis, we can expect that around 60% of all driving will be done by these robo-taxis. So, so it's very, very significant. And it would also mean that there will be less than half the cars because they will be replaced by, by robo-taxis. And um, almost no new cars will be sold at, at this time. So the likely consumer behavior is that we'll see uh, people in... Uh, suburban uh, areas, maybe they'll keep one car if they had two or three before and then, then only do robo-taxis. Um, and the, the urban people would probably uh, choose not to have a car altogether. But people living in the countryside, they may not change their lifestyle at all because of, of robo-taxis. So, of course, it will not replace everything. But here we see a, a calculation um, most likely of of the change in, in terms of number of cars that would be on the road. This will also mean a lot less pollution because there will be less miles that are driven by regular cars. But more importantly, the production of new cars will, be, will decrease significantly. So if this happens, how can you take advantage? Well, first of all, I think there are things you should avoid doing. You should really think twice before you buy an expensive new car at, at this moment because most likely in the next five years, it will see a massive depreciation. And if you're going to buy something, maybe consider a, a, a car uh, that just doesn't uh, transport you from A to B, but something that's more of a lifestyle, maybe a truck, for example, that could uh, transport heavy things that maybe at least robo-taxis in the beginning would not be, be able to do. Then I see three other ways to take advantage. It's, of course, when the robo-taxis become available, use them. You will save a lot of money as a consumer. Uh, secondly, um, if you think this uh, will come to fruitation the way that, that it is predicted by Elon, well, I think you should buy the, the Tesla stock because, I mean, even though uh, the price earning ratio is, is pretty high on the Tesla stock, this has not fully been valued in. So if you think this will not be blocked by the government, it's definitely worth buying the, the Tesla stock. But the final thing I would do, I would buy a robo taxi myself if it becomes a money printing machine. But this is probably the most complex prediction to answer. I think that in 2030, there could be a very high return on investment, so maybe 20% plus, but there would also be a major risk. It would not be clear enough in 2030 um, whether robo-taxis will become a major success. So potentially, you could uh, take the risk and invest uh, here in the late 20s and reap a very high return on investment. I think by 2035, the return on investment will decrease as more and more um, can see that it's a good investment and the risk will then decrease 
And then when we get to 2040, I think it's going to be a lower risk investment, like a real dividend investment, but still with a good return. And I actually think in the late 30s and 40s, because of, of robots and AI, we will see um, capital gains that are uh, significantly higher than today. So maybe it needs to be around 12% return on investment to, to be a good investment. So here's the problem, and, and, and this is the part um, you need to think about. Is will this actually happen? And I, I do think there are a couple of reasons to think there would be delays. If there are no delays, all of this would happen by 2030. But I think there will be political delays. I think um, there will be protests. There will be drivers um, going on strike because they don't want to lose their jobs. We've already seen burning Teslas in the streets. This will continue. Some uh, politicians, they will decide to try to delay this development and, and get voters this way. I do think the technology is there. I think if there are accidents, they're likely to be blown out of proportion and it would likely be deemed dangerous if the robo-taxis just kill a few people, even though it is much less than, than people actually uh, die in, in traffic today. So I think that definitely blockers that can happen. Um, but I think it will, even, eventually I think this will work and I think it will be a, a sound in investment. The impact on society, um, if we should scale it from small uh, to medium, to high, to maybe huge, I would say it, it is somewhere between high and huge. It will be a major financial impact. It will be a major impact on, on safety. It will help the environment a lot. Um, and I think it uh, having a robo-taxi will be a new asset class similar uh, to having stocks. And I do think that it will be a good investment. So all in all, my conclusion is it is highly likely that this will happen. We will see robo-taxis at scale. We will see robo-taxis being a good investment, but it will be a high-risk investment in the beginning. And uh, we will see the price of using robo-taxis be significantly less uh, than a taxi or an Uber would cost today. I think around 30 cents would be likely. And I do think if all of this happens, you will also see a Tesla stock that is significantly higher than today. So all in all, I, I would say this is happening, but I don't think it's happening by 2030. I think there will be blockers. I think it will take more time. I think by 2035, most of this will be in place, especially in... in um, uh, suburban areas and urban areas in the USA, probably the Middle East, uh, but it will go a bit slower in, in um, especially Europe and South America. Um, so maybe by 2040, the phenomenon of robo-taxis will be, be global. But my prediction is that uh, for the US and uh, many uh, cities in Europe and in Asia, this will be reality by 2035. And you should take advantage by considering the, the Tesla stock, at least for a long-term investment. You should uh, really consider not buying a new expensive car in the next five years because it will be uh, the worst investment ever um, because of a lot of depreciation. And finally, uh, when there's an option, and, and this looks more likely to scale, you should buy a, a Tesla robo-taxi. At least that is my prediction, and, and that is what I'm going to do personally, but I would love to hear your thoughts.